Hi guys, so today I'm coming to you here looking a mess, straight out of the bonnet. So I'm gonna get right into it. I came out of the 30 day challenge, or it was probably more than 30 days because I live by that life anyway. The 30 day detox, no butters, no oil challenge. But today I'm about to use an oil. So that says a lot. I'm using the Kane Beauty Hair Optimizing Elixir, the Nourishing Shaft Penetrating Hair Oil, Fat Oil, Fast Absorbing, Scalp Friendly, All Hair Types and Strands. Yes, sis. So really quickly, I'm going to go over all of the oils that are in here, but please stay tuned because I want you to hear my thoughts on the No Butters No Oil Detail. Is serious out here in these natural hair streets. So the first oil is apricot oil, grapeseed oil, sunflower oil, sweet almond oil, argan oil, vitamin E oil, castor oil, organic soybean oil, aloe vera, or organic aloe powder, uh, barrage seed oil, safflower oil, Sapphire seed oil, avocado oil, hemp seed oil, rose hip fruit oil, sesame seed oil, neem seed oil, papaya seed oil, pumpkin seed oil, rosemary leaf oil, lavender flower oil, Brahmi extract, Brahmi powder, uh, fenugreek seed oil, ginger oil, pomegranate seed oil, cucumber seed oil, camellia seed oil, moringa seed oil, rape seed oil, amla fruit extract, let's see, lin, 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 lin seed, aka flax seed oil, carrot root extract, eucalyptus, leaf oil and white grapefruit oil so that's a ton of oils that's a ton of oils who knew that a four ounce bottle could contain that many oils so it does so i see some ayurvedic oils and just a lot of great oils in this mixture i'm back at oils because my hair got a little bit thirsty granted i deep condition but I just need a hot oil treatment. I just need, I feel like in my soul, I need it. Um, yeah, so this is four ounces. And I'm just going to be applying this to soaking wet hair. I'm going to talk about the 30 day detox. More like the whole springtime, I just kind of detoxed with oils. I did not use oils. If you've seen my springtime, hair care regimen you know that i did not pre-poo but i'm believe i'm back on the pre-poo because i saw how my hair reacted to not having that um so yeah so let's get started so first off who has heard about the 30-day detox of no oils and no butters leave a comment down below that was the hype thing for the last few months. A lot of people brought it to our attention beforehand, um, but it's by, the theory is by um, two cosmetologists and they go under the name Black Girl Curls. So I am Black Girl Curls on Instagram. Um, I think Black Girl Curls on YouTube as well. And so their names are, their handles are Hair Love Art and Chocolate Curls Beauty. So they're from Atlanta and Chicago. And yeah, so they have this theory that you should detox your hair for 30 days because oils and butters dry out your hair. And so I get what they're saying. If your hair is already uh, dry and you keep piling on these heavy products to your hair, then where's the moisture coming from like you're just packing in dry thirsty hair 
And so I get it. I get it. And I know some people um, don't agree with them. They think that their delivery is harsh, but they're very real and raw and straight to the point. So I can respect that. So they're straight shooters. They are very informative. Um, but yeah, they could they could possibly rub people the wrong way on how they approach the situation. Um, so right here, I'm, I'm quickly going to separate my hair um, or section my hair and then I'm gonna start applying the Kane Beauty Hair Optimizing Elixir. Um, yeah, to just get through these curls because this is from like a two week old wash and go that I had and um, yeah, if you haven't seen that video, I refreshed my hair after a week and used the same product to refresh my hair. I've never refreshed my hair like this before, so check out that video in the i cards. But yeah, I'm just going to completely saturate my hair and just talk to you about the Black Girl Curls or the 30 Day Detox from Butters and Oil. So I did that, and I'd have to say... The amount of oils and butters that I really use is minimal. So I'm fine with incorporating the little bit of butters and oils that I use on my hair. I always find that my hair is very moisturized. So I feel like I have it down. So they're saying, so the premise of this is to detox your hair so you can really see how your hair flourishes without oils and butters like whether you can get the moisture that you that we as natural so desperately need and want in our life and so I get it they say to cleanse and clarify your hair they say to um, obviously not use butters and oils they also I believe correct me if I'm wrong so I'm not I did not they have a um, some type of platform to where you can um, take like their one online courses and so I have not done that so I'm strictly going off of what I hear on their lives and what I hear other people say about them so I have not taken um, the course yet um, So I really don't know all of the ins and outs of what they're what they're talking about. Um, they have this platform called See Some Curls, and so you can join. And there's obviously a fee, um, but yeah, I mean, I think that they're super informative. They have a 30-day hair detox virtual masterclass for $35. Um, or they had that um, and then they go into all the specifics about why you shouldn't use butters and oils now for me butters and oils and I think they, they said that too butters and oils are already in your product so that's why you don't need all of that butters and oils and they also um, really promote uh, it seems like they're promoting like the do mousse or doing mousse wash and goes like light wash and goes and I, I get that um, I'm going to be trying a mousse wash and go soon um, so stay tuned please be sure to like comment and subscribe down below so you'll be able to see how my hair does with it that that uh, mousse like a wash and go with a mousse but let's take a break one second this oil is detangling my hair wonderfully. You can see the curls popping. I always finger detangle before I put any tools in my hair, so that's what I'm doing now. But back to the Black Girl Curls or um, the 30 Day Challenge. So in the 30 days, I always wash my hair. I always clarify my hair. So my hair is always stripped. I think what they're trying to teach people is to not just co-wash your hair, but cleanse your hair. Get the all of the products build up off of your hair and apply a product that doesn't that penetrates your strands. And so it may take a while for you to figure out 
what product actually does that they recommend they have a product list that they recommend and so I just remember seeing um, I remember seeing that uh, maybe the kinky curly not today as well as the uh, do mousse um, also I remember them talking about botanical oils and I remember someone talking about uh, Camille Rose like that botanical but not botanical oils botanical gels um, and to use those oh also they use a lot of Uncle Funky's daughter they promote that as well as a um, a good gel to use for your wash and goes and this so this is this is the premise of how to master your wash and goes how to master your twist outs and braid outs or whatever but really I don't know I think that they're focusing on like wash and goes for some reason to get them popping everybody can get one and so it's a big to do in the natural hair community about this no oils and no butters and so for me and my house I will probably always have oils. Now, a butter for me is an oil. Um, I don't use a lot of oil. So as you know, if you've seen my channel, if you watch my channel, if you haven't watched my channel, I'm gonna need you to subscribe, sis. I'm gonna need you to subscribe, bro. I'm gonna need you to subscribe. Down below, subscribe. Um, that way you'll know that I don't use a lot of oils. Oils are already in the products that I use and so I don't pile on products on my hair. I don't moisturize every day. So they teach you just to style your hair once and then keep it going for the rest of the week. You don't have to reapply products every two days. If you're reapplying products every two days then that product probably is not working. I think that, that there's, that's their theory. I feel like that's what I heard because some of the things that they say majority of the things that they say I agree with to be honest again they rub, they're rubbing people the wrong way they're saying that influencers YouTube influencers or people that aren't um, that haven't had their cosmetology license or aren't uh, trained to uh, share with people about here they're kind of um, knocking them for real and so or just stating stating basic, basic basic facts. No, I'm not trained in natural hair. I'm trained in my natural hair. And so I'm sharing with you my thoughts on, you know, how I how I um, take care of my hair personally. But no, I'm not trained in natural hair. And so they have facts to back it up. I mean, but some influencers are getting um <laughs> I want to use the word butt hurt. They're getting um, sensitive about it. And I, I get both sides. I get both sides. It's all a business. Um, this is not new, the no oils and no butters, um, because I remember years ago, Kimberly, Kimberly Sherelle, she said something about no oils and no butters. And so that's the first time I ever heard about it. Um, I did not jump on that bad wagon and then. Um, and I'm not jumping on it now. I tried it out just because I was like, you know what? Let's see. It's hot. You know, the, the topic is hot. Let's see what my hair does. And it did the same thing, but I feel like my hair flourishes when I pre-poo. And so that's using oils. Counterproductive, kind of. Um, because I'm putting an oil on my hair before I even wash my hair, but that's my detangling phase. So I don't think that it's very uh, counterproductive um, because I'm de using that as a purpose to detangle. Also, they don't say a lot about, I don't hear a lot about deep conditioning. Deep conditioning is okay. Um, and then not to really layer products a lot, not to use a leave-in and then a product. But again, the disclaimer is do whatever works for you, basically. Whatever your hair likes, do that, basically. And so I just wanted to share with you my thoughts about it. Um, I don't gravitate towards butters, really, but I will in the wintertime. So I don't have any problem with that because every week or every two weeks, I completely clarify and strip my hair. So I don't, from my understanding, don't have 
um, any product buildup. Also, one thing that hurt my little feelings, <laughs> just to be honest, I think that they said something about why would you put mud on your hair to wash your hair? So the detox clay mask that I do, I did get in my feelings about that, but I don't know. Girl, boy, do what works for you. Do what works for your hair. Try things. Try things to work for your hair. If it's not going to damage your hair or harm your hair, try it. That hints why I try the 30 day. No oils, no butters, detox. Granted, my products had oils in them, sis. Natural hair products have oils in them, sis. Bro, even the products that they're talking about. So, they're not saying it as literal as some people may think. They probably just want you to wash your hair. Wash your hair, stop piling on products. That's basically what I get. So I follow them, I support them, I watch their lives. I, I mean, that's just my personal opinion. Leave a comment down below if you've heard of Black Girl Curls. Um, and if you've heard of um, See Some Curls, and if you've heard of the two ladies that are running the show, they also have a curl stylist directory. So stylists that have, um, I guess, mastered the wash and go or who have worked under them and, um, yeah, so you can find someone in your area. So the two stylists that I'm talking about are um, Aisha Strickland and Elise Oliver. Olivia? Girl, I done butchered that name. So from Atlanta and Chicago, or both from Chicago, but one lives in Atlanta now. So Aisha and Elise. I think that's how you pronounce her name. I don't know, girl. But um, yeah, Hair Love Art on Instagram and Chocolate Girls Beauty on Instagram. But yeah, I follow them. Um, they drop some knowledge and uh, I love to see it. I love to see something different and new. Um, but back to this hair. this um, hair optimizing elixir by Kane Beauty shout out to them for sending this to me to try um, I really appreciate it I gave it a good go it has many 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 great oils in it my hair looks great my curls are shop hopping sis bro they are shop hopping and um, my hair feels great basically it, it made my hair easy to detangle and um, yeah, so check out Kane Beauty's website. Um, this is not sponsored. They just simply sent me this product. They call me or not call me, DM me, ask me or no, nope, not DM'd. They emailed me. They're professional now. They, they emailed me and asked me what product I would like to try. They'll send it to me and let me know their thoughts. They weren't requiring me to do anything but I need to show a black owned company some love by just shouting them out, using the product, give them a, a good, a good try. Um, I did not feel any tingling. Um, great slip. The smell smells earthy and, um, so the bottom line of this product if you're into oils, 
So I know there's this big thing about, you know, in the natural hair community, no oils, no butters. But if you're into oils that are good and clean for your hair, do you heard the list? An extensive list, you heard the list. If you like oils, I will purchase it. I personally don't think that I'm into oils that much to purchase, um, but I'm going to leave the, um, information down in the description box. <laughs> I drew a blank for a second. I'm going to leave their information down in the description box, a link to their site. Um, if you want to go check them out, check them out. Thank you, Kane Beauty. Um, look at all that grease. Like that's, I haven't done a hot oil treatment since I think the very beginning of my journey like maybe transitioning stages. So what I'm about to do is put a plastic cap on my head. And, uh, yep. So thanks so much for watching. If you have not already, please, 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 please be sure to hit the thumbs up, hit the thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe down below. What else? Hit the bell notification, hit the bell notification. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Peace out, but not really peace out because I'm about to show you what my hair looks like in a second. So I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. And I have sat in this for about an hour outside on the deck, getting some sun rays. So my hair is completely um, saturated in this oil. And I'm just gonna take it down really quick so you can see how it, how my hair looks. So this is how my hair looks, grease everywhere, but I'm pleased. My hair feels amazing. It's a very light oil. It's a light oil. So thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check out my next video where I show you how I shampoo my hair. Again. Thank you so much, Kane Beauty. Thank you so much to all of my new subscribers for watching. I'm out. Mm -hmm.